Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about centrifugal clutches used in top fuel drag racing. Now I have some other relevant videos such as a video on top fuel drag racing and a video on multi-plate clutches which you may find of value so I will include links in the video description. So let's talk about the components involved and then work through the process of how this works. Now here we have a multi-plate clutch. Uh, you've got the alternating friction plates and clutch discs. Works very similar to the multi-plate clutch that I explained in my other video in the description. Um, and you have these pins locking, of course, these friction plates. So if you're looking down at it, um, basically if you're looking from the side here uh, where this is the crankshaft uh, coming in, then you will see these pins will rotate the friction plates, but they will not rotate the clutch disc, and the clutch disc is splined to a drive shaft or a shaft going into transmission uh, for other cases, but top fuels don't use transmission, so it just it would be the drive shaft. Now, the other things that you've got going on are these uh, involuted fingers. So these fingers here are what apply pressure to this outer friction plate and compress this clutch pack. Uh, and the way they do this is using centrifugal force uh, as this starts to rotate. Now back here we have an air piston and these fingers have different length uh, ends on them and so these different lengths uh, allow different fingers to be activated at different times. And then we have this drive shaft. So looking at this uh, finger, as our engine starts to spin up, what it's gonna do is be uh, applying this centrifugal force uh, to these involuted fingers, these centrifugal fingers. Uh, I say involuted because that'll be the shape of it, much like a gear tooth, and that's simply so they can always apply, uh, always have contact with the friction disc. Um, but regardless, you have a point about which it rotates, and then you have the center of gravity. And that center of gravity is out here, so as you can see, as this were to be rotating, the center of gravity is going to be applying a force like this, and it's going to want to make this uh, finger rotate uh, counterclockwise, and in doing that, it's going to be applying pressure to this uh, friction disc right here and compressing that clutch pack. Now, as I mentioned, they have different length ends on them here, and so this air piston is what controls which fingers uh, can be applied. So as you can see right here, initially, if this were to start spinning, this finger would be able to apply pressure to the clutch pack as it doesn't have anything preventing it from rotating, whereas this finger does not uh, have the ability to rotate because it has this air piston blocking it from rotating. So as the car is going down the run, this air piston starts to move back, and what that does is allow for less and less clutch slip. So initially you're going to have a lot of clutch slip with only a few fingers pressing up against it and then this air piston starts to move back uh, then this finger starts to apply pressure uh, and you have more fingers that activate so looking down on it from this side uh, it's going to look something like this where you have a bunch of different fingers um, all activated by this air piston and some will activate earlier than others and the reason you do that is simply to allow for clutch slip as uh, if you applied all of the engine torque right from the start you'd just spin the wheels uh, smoke the tires and that would be it so you would you wouldn't be successful that run so you have to allow for clutch slip uh, this has a major part um, and the time that the drivers get, it all comes down to whether or not uh, you can apply that power. Uh, and so that's basically the process I've walked through. Uh, more fingers get released, and eventually uh, all the fingers will be released. The clutch pack will lock up. You've got full power headed to the rear wheels, and by that point, you know, you're maybe halfway down the track or so, and you're, you know, applying the rest of your power, hoping to get a little bit more speed. Uh, but most of that uh, time comes from the very beginning of the run. Uh, where you want to get to speed very quickly and that's all done through clutch slip. So if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and don't forget to check out some of the relevant links in the video description. Thanks for watching.